Chapter 41 2. Timing You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After saying those fierce words, which terrified Yang Xian greatly, Xia Shibei calmly left. Before she returned to the classroom, however, she ran into Song Jiaren. Song Jiaren's expression was very complicated. Suspicion, fear, sadness. So many emotions mixed together, contorting her large face into a mess. Of course, she had heard of the incident with Yang Xian's mother, and someone had shown her the recording too. That was why her emotions were so complicated. Yang Xian was pretty good to her usually, and behaved well, like a mild dot mannered gentleman. He had mentioned his parents once before. In his words, his parents had very good personalities. They were gentle with others, and would never dislike her. But today, that impression of goodness had been broken. Yang Xian's mom's ferociousness was more terrifying than that of any thug. Although Song Jiaren was the gang leader's daughter, and everyone avoided her at school, she was not as fierce as everyone thought she was. She had no choice. She was fat, sweated profusely whenever she moved, and sometimes didn't move at all if she didn't have to. Then Song Jiaren heard the whole story. Dot after understanding things more clearly, she became disillusioned. How could Yang Xian have done such a thing? He had denied borrowing money, then lied about being beaten. She was devastated, feeling as if her world had been turned upside down. However, after struggling with the situation and feeling sad, she still came to Xia Shibei, because she wanted to understand the whole truth. You came. Xia Shibei didn't seem to notice Song Jiaren's reaction. Smiling, she continued, then let's go, I'm ready. She showed off her backpack, which held all the herbs. Aren't you going to react at all? Song Jiaren asked with a frown. React. Xia Shibei was startled for a minute before responding. Oh, you mean that whole thing with Yang Xian? Song Jiaren nodded, so Xia Shibei continued, there is nothing to react to. She shrugged her shoulders, acting as if this was all normal, as soon as they said I was a couple with Yang Xian, I knew what they thought. You're really not together. No way. Xia Shibei exclaimed, looking shocked, I'm not blind. How could I be into him? Blind. The corner of Song Jiaren's mouth twitched. Xia Shibei was not blind, only she was the blind one. Besides, he's two dot timing a bunch of people. I'd be a moron to be into him. Two dot timing, several people. Yes. Xia Shibei nodded, counting off on her fingers, I figured there's at least three or four people. What? Song Jiaren shouted, three or four people. Yeah, Xia Shibei nodded her head, acting as if she didn't notice Song Jiaren's emotions and continued, other than Jin Yajin, there are a couple of girls from other schools. Why do you think he needed to borrow so much money? These words made the look on Song Jiaren's face become worse. There were others besides Jin Yajin. Then what was she? At that moment, all of her feelings dissipated. Seeing Song Jiaren's vicious look, Xia Shibei smiled internally, becoming very happy. If this had happened a year later, she wouldn't have been able to make Song Jiaren abandon Yang Xian so easily. Well, that hadn't happened yet. Although the current Song Jiaren liked Yang Xian, she had not yet reached the point where she couldn't live without him. If Song Jiaren didn't like Yang Xian anymore, his life would be much more difficult. Okay. Don't think too much about it, we'll deal with the important things first. Let's go. Xia Shibei began to leave first, heading towards the school gate. Chapter 42 Same last name, different treatment you are listening at novel full audio. When the students who had not left school yet saw Song Jiaren and Xia Shibei walking together, they were shocked. With those two walking together, the resulting effect was outstanding. One was tall and the other was short, one fat and one thin, one beautiful and one ugly. The juxtaposition was glaringly strong. The first one they saw was Xia Shibei, who made people feel comfortable. 
And when they turned their heads, they saw Song Jiaren, which completed the effect. Compared to Song Jiaren, Xia Shibei was prettier, as Song Jiaren was quite scary, visually speaking. So, this is a red flower and its green leaves. Wow, this is too much of a contrast. What is Song Jiaren doing? Who is that beauty next to her? She's even prettier than Xia Qing Han. The looks and whispers of the people around them made Song Jiaren feel upset. The one thing she hated the most in the world was a beautiful woman. When the two of them walked together, they received a lot of attention, but the gazes directed to Song Jiaren were very unfriendly. If she didn't think that Xia Shibei could help her lose the extra weight she had, she would have turned right around and left. When they reached the entrance, the car sent to pick up Song Jiaren was already waiting. The driver was a little surprised to see that Song Jiaren had brought a beautiful girl along with her. There were no beauties such as Xia Shibei around their young miss. Xia Shibei didn't give the slightest bit of attention to the driver's gaze. After saying hello to him, she smiled and said, Uncle, I forgot to buy a washtub. Can we go to Zhonghong Street? Zhonghong Street was a well-known area to shop at. It was near the commercial business district and had everything, including washtubs. What are we buying a washtub for? Song Jiaren asked. For baths. Xia Shibei replied, Don't worry, I'll make sure you see results today. The driver watched the two of them, hesitating but deciding not to say anything. Soon enough, the car stopped outside Zhonghong Street, the block forbidding the presence of cars. After they got out, Xia Shibei took Song Jiaren towards a specific store. As they were walking, Xia Shibei suddenly stopped and looked ahead of them. Song Jiaren saw that she had stopped and looked over in the same direction to see what had caught her eye. She saw three girls, one of whom looked very familiar. Hey, isn't that Xia Qing Han, our school's beauty queen? Although Song Jiaren wasn't pretty and didn't get along that well with other people, even she knew who Xia Qing Han was. After all, the girl was the famous beauty queen of their school. She was good. Looking, had a great figure an excellent family background, aced school, was athletic, and combining all of that with a gentle personality, she always had an overflow of suitors around her. She was a goddess to many guys. She supposedly had an excellent boyfriend too. This made Song Jiaren, who was often ignored and had just been cheated on by a scumbag, quite envious. She hadn't expected to run into Xia Qing Han here. Do you know each other? Song Jiaren asked casually. No, Xia Shibei's eyes slightly cold, even as they burned with a silent fire. How could she not know her? Twenty percent of the initial pain she had suffered had been at the hands of Yang Xian, another ten percent caused by those irresponsible parents, and the leftover seventy percent was all due to Xia Qinghan. Song Jiaren didn't notice the expression in Xia Shibei's eyes, murmuring to herself, Yes, your last names are both Xia, but you probably wouldn't know her. Just because they had the same Xia surname didn't mean that they had any ties connecting them. Contrary to Xia Qinghan, Xia Shibei didn't have much going for her other than her appearance. Of course, if one only looked at her face, Xia Shibei was much more beautiful than Xia Qinghan. Hey, what's going on over there? Song Jiaren asked, walking ahead in an attempt to sate her curiosity, finally realizing what was happening. Star Scout She watched with surprise as the man took out a business card and gave it to Xia Qing Han. Chapter 43 We're recruiting trainees you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Zhong Han Street was at the heart of all the commerce. There were numerous large dot scale companies in the vicinity, many of which were entertainment companies. Events were held often here, and people went in droves, star scouts searching for suitable youngsters in the area to join the entertainment industry. Previously, a boy from a neighboring school had been scouted, becoming a celebrity. He wasn't very famous, but it was exciting enough for the students. Song Jiaren was familiar with this gossip, and although she never had such unrealistic dreams herself, she was envious of those people, nonetheless. 
And right now, the man standing before Xia Qing Han fit the bill of what the others had described a star scout to look like. She took two steps closer to them, finally able to hear their conversation more clearly. Are you really a star scout? The girl beside Xia Qing Han asked in shock and suspicion. Of course. The man smiled confidently, continuing, I am one of the top managers of SY Entertainment, Pan Yen. If you don't believe me, you could always follow me to my company and have a look around. As he spoke, he pointed in a specific direction. I believe you, Xia Qing Han finally said slowly, I know someone from SY Entertainment. The other two girls looked at her in envy and admiration. She was amazing, even having connections with people from an entertainment company. Xia Qing Han wore a polite smile, but she enjoyed the looks that people were giving her, basking in their attention. Really? Han Yen voiced his surprise, who? By Mei Xue. You know by Mei Xue. Before Pan Yen could get in a word, the two girls shrieked in delight, exclaiming in union, my goodness. You know her. Bai Mei Xue was an actress who would be turning 40 soon, but looked as if she was just over 30, all thanks to her meticulous skin care routine. Aside from that, she had pretty substantial popularity. She had been the main female lead of various modern dramas a few years back but had taken on the big screen in the past few years, both with pretty good results. She was a well-known celebrity to the people of the nation, and a goddess in the eyes of many. In the meantime, she was head of all the female celebrities in SY Entertainment. She's an auntie of mine, she treats me well. Xia Qing Han responded in a reserved manner, but she couldn't hide the delight and pride shining behind her eyes. Pan Yen was taken aback as well, never having expected this little girl to know by Mei Xue. Why didn't you talk about this before? Lu Zhijing grumbled on her left, even we didn't know that. There's nothing to talk about, Xia Qing Han replied calmly with a smile, I can't just go around telling people that we know each other, now can I? That would not be appropriate. Aya, that's too low. Key. Lu Zhijing pouted. If I knew a celebrity as big as her, I would be boasting about it left and right, to everyone I knew and everywhere I go, bet owed him, right. Right. On her other side, Tao Yueying joined in, I'm so envious of you. You score well on all the exams, you have good looks, and you know such a famous celebrity. You're good at whatever you do, and you have everything you could ask for. You're winning in life. I'm dying of envy. As she took in the undisguised envy on their faces, Xia Qing Han felt joyful and rejuvenated, but masked it all behind serene words, Aya, it's not something worth talking about. You shouldn't tell anyone else either. I prefer to keep a low profile. Aya, we know that, the two replied in girlish tones, clutching onto her hands. Pan Yen kept a straight face as he watched the little girls boasting and flattering among themselves. It was okay for them to have a sense of pride and vanity, as long as they didn't go overboard. Miss, I think you would fit within the entertainment industry very well. We are recruiting trainees now, if you are interested. Trainee. Why would our Ching Han even need any training? She could debut right away with her current capabilities. Lu Zhijing retorted. Chapter 44. Brainless boasting you are listening at novel full dot audio. She's right, Tao Yueying stated, nodding in agreement. Our Ching Han is the face of the school. And in addition to her good looks, her results are tip dot top, and she has a grade 10 in piano as well. If she can debut right away, what's the point of making her a trainee? Only when Tao Yueying finished blabbering did Xia Qing Han give her a light tap, telling her to hush. Aya, you're exaggerating. I'm not that great, okay? How am I exaggerating? The boys at our school go crazy for you. We settle your breakfast for you every morning, or have you forgotten? Lu Zhijing flattered her. Every morning, Xia Qinghan's table would be full of the various breakfasts given to her by her many admirers. Although she had rejected them many times over, many of the boys still hadn't given up. 
Eventually, all the food would go into someone else's stomach. To keep herself in shape, Xia Qinghan dared not eat too much, but the other girls did not have any such worries. All right, stop saying that, it's embarrassing. Xia Qinghan's cheeks flushed red, we are talking about the trainee matter. Han Yan smiled indulgently, saying, being a trainee is only the initial phase. Not everyone has to spend that much time on it. Some trainees are outstanding enough that they graduate and debut in just a fortnight. What he didn't mention was that there were hardly any prodigies like that, even in the entertainment industry, where geniuses were produced in frequent batches. Without a long period of practice, how could one perform with ease, composure and natural elegance on stage? The old industry saying, it takes 10 years of practice to put on a Google One Dot Minute performance on stage, wasn't a lie by any stretch of the imagination. Then Ar Qing Han will surely be a prodigy who can debut in just a week. Lu Zhijing replied, singing Xia Qing Han's praises immediately. Further in the distance, Song Jiaren's lips twitched, the look on her face not exactly flattering. Although she knew that Xia Qing Han had a few sidekicks that followed her around, she hadn't expected Lu Zhijing and Tao Yueying to boast about their friends so much. Debut in a week. They didn't stop to consider Xia Qinghan's capabilities at all, did they? To be fair, Xia Qinghan was a pretty well dot rounded person. She was good dot looking and was talented on top of that. However, that talent would fade away in comparison to those of professional artists. What on earth gave them the courage to boast like that? Han Yan remained unaffected as he listened to these little girls and their brainless boasting. Having worked in the entertainment industry for a long time, he was used to fans flattering and fawning over their idols. Those brainless fans could twist their idols into whatever they wished, taking a dead-faced, soulless-eyed look and turning it into aloofness and confidence. These little girls still had a long way to go if they wanted to reach that level. We can only know for sure once the training is done, but I believe that you definitely have the potential to become a famous celebrity. The girl's words didn't cheer up Xia Qinghan much, but Pan Yan's words did excite her. He was a professional after all, his words carried much more weight. She had also heard by Xu Emei say that Pan Yan was indeed a top-notch manager from SY Entertainment. Having been recognized by him, she felt as if she could fly, she was so delighted. Yes, Qing Han. You can do it for sure. If you get rich and famous one day, don't forget us. The two of them made pouting faces at Xia Qing Han, both encouraging and pleading with her. But I have to seek permission from my parents. Xia Qing Han voiced hesitantly, acting restrained. She knew that her parents would support her in whatever she chose to do, but she had to put up a reserved front. Sure enough, Pan Yen knew what she was thinking, and nodded, once you've thought about it and talked it all over, you can contact me. Sure, I'll do that, Xia Qing Han reassured him. Then I'll stop bothering you for now. I'll leave first. Pan Yen turned around to leave, but his gaze quickly fixed onto something in the distance. Bedo did I'm making a split dot second decision, he walked toward a girl with quick, wide strides, holding his name card towards her. Hello. I am Pan Yen, a manager at SY Entertainment. May I know if you have any interest in becoming a celebrity? Chapter 45 A real treasure you are listening at novel full dot audio. Pan Yan's heart thumped wildly in his chest at the sight of the beautiful girl, who had a cool, striking aura about her. He had seen a lot of beauties in the entertainment industry, but this girl could be ranked top among the very best. She wasn't wearing any makeup at the moment, but that didn't conceal her beauty in any way. If she had put on makeup, she would certainly be a beautiful female in a TV series. Most importantly, she had a very high malleability. Pan Yen had seen many beauties, but not all of them were made for the camera. However, he could guarantee that this girl would definitely look great on camera. Although she was slim, she wasn't scrawny. That was the key point. Many female celebrities went through great lengths to lose weight just to achieve such an outcome. 
After all, one's figure would be slightly widened on camera. A body shape like hers would be absolutely perfect on camera. She could attract lots of fans just with that face. SY Entertainment has lots of experience and an abundance of resources. As long as you're willing to join our company, we could make you a superstar. Pan Yen was quite eager to have her join, as he had ventured out this time just to find great candidates. As the top manager at SY Entertainment, he didn't have to take this upon himself, but he wasn't in a good state at the moment. Previously, AB.List celebrity under him, whom he promoted to an A.Lister, had walked out on him after managing to curry favor with someone rich. He had sustained a blow because of this matter, which was why he chose to come out on his own to look for new candidates. He had thought Xia Ching Han was good when he first saw her. However, after seeing this girl, he realized that she was even better. He had already started contemplating various ways to polish and promote her. Superstar Xia Shibei asked, looking at him with raised brows, her lips curled into a cool smile. Han Yen couldn't help but inhale sharply. This little girl was extraordinary. With her brows raised, she gave off a whole different aura, one that was very attractive. She was only a girl in her teens, but she had the kind of charm that kept people's eyes glued to her. That was rare indeed. Most importantly, she wasn't attractive in the usual way, pompous but cheap. Rather, there was an air of nobility about her that commanded respect from people. She was a real treasure. He would be insane to let go of such a piece of jade, which shone long before it was polished and refined. Yes, you will definitely become a superstar. Despite having seen many rough seas and strong winds in his life, Pen Yen still got excited when he saw such a great sapling, full of potential. Xia Shibei Song Jiaren had returned as well, marveling as she looked at Xia Shibei in great astonishment. Now that she had observed both, she could tell the differences between how Pan Yen treated Xia Shibei and Xia Qing Han. When he met Xia Qing Han earlier, he had offered a passionate invitation, but did not force it. However, when it came to Xia Shibei, excitement was clearly written all over his face. Song Jiaren was delighted. Although she didn't really like Xia Shibei, she felt pride at Xia Shibei being treated with such enthusiasm by a star scout. Your name is Xia Shibei, right? If you have any doubts, you could come with me to my company. My colleagues happen to have time at the moment. Song Jiaren pouted, stating, she can't go with you, we are not free right now. Oh, really? Pan Yen voiced, a little disappointed, but he lifted his spirits up right away. That's all right. Visit any time you're free. If she joins your company now, would she need to be a trainee first? Song Jiaren asked, continuing to question him. Yes, Pan Yen nodded. However, I can arrange your schedule as soon as possible. You could train and perform at the same time. As she looked at the earnest Pan Yen, Xia Shibei smiled and nodded, All right then, I'll go to your company on Saturday. Saturday. No problem. Pan Yen exclaimed, thrilled to have gotten her to agree to a visit. Chapter 46 Discrimination You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xia Shibei remembered Pan Yen, a well-known manager in the entertainment industry. He was known for his outstanding capabilities, as well as his bad luck. He had produced a 20.year.old A.List celebrity, but unfortunately, she managed to curry favor with someone rich and terminated the contract right after. After that, he didn't give up, going on to promote Xia Qing Han instead. Under his guidance, Xia Qing Han quickly became a great sensation who was much sought that after. Nonetheless, Xia Qing Han kicked him out once she became famous too. The reason he got terminated was because some artists stepped up and came clean about him sexually assaulting his artists. When it was first revealed, he became a scumbag that everyone abhorred and rebuked. Although they couldn't find any evidence, his reputation was irreversibly damaged. As for Xia Qing Han, she wasn't really impacted by the matter. Her character was the daughter of a wealthy, prestigious family, 
and after combining her own talents with her family's wealth and power, Pan Yen dared not do her any harm. However, the public still sympathized with her, because she had once been so close to a wolf. Therefore, Xia Qinghan's popularity rose even after Pan Yen got into trouble. Back then, the topic hashtag my heart aches for Xia Qinghan hashtag trended for quite a few days. However, Xia Shibei did not believe it. She had once rubbed elbows with Pan Yen, and she knew just how capable, honest, and righteous he was. He never demanded his artists attain resources through illicit channels. Unfortunately, such a righteous manager was badly destroyed by Xia Qinghan. Pan Yen had left the entertainment industry and gone missing even before Xia Shibei's incident. When she first met Pan Yen, Xia Shibei already had a manager, but her career development wasn't very impressive. At that time, Pan Yen had sighed with regret and said, If I were the one who was guiding you, you would have become the queen a long time ago. It was because of his words that Xia Shibei managed to pull through the difficulties she encountered in the complicated entertainment industry. She had to prove herself. However, Pan Yen got into trouble soon after. Now that she thought about it, Xia Qinghan might have been there and overheard what he said. Considering Xia Qinghan's animosity towards her, it wasn't impossible that she would vent her anger out on Pan Yen. L.C. As the thought occurred to her, Xia Shibei offered an even more sincere smile to Pan Yen. Rest assured, I'm free on Saturday, so I'll be there. Sure, sure. Pan Yen nodded immediately. How about we exchange our contact information for now? No problem, Xia Shibei said, taking out her phone and noting down his number. After attaining her information, Pan Yan's smile turned even brighter. I'll wait for you on Saturday then. All right. Only then did Pan Yan leave, with the bright smile still on his face. Xia Shibei, you're going to be a celebrity. Song Jiaren was very excited. She had never expected Pan Yen to hold Xia Shibei in such high regard. When Xia Qinghan said she would consider it, Pan Yen was at ease. He didn't even get her contact information. However, he took the initiative to request Xia Shibei's number. That was a world of difference. Yeah, Xia Shibei nodded with a smile, joking, I'll sign an autograph for you, then. Ha ha ha. Thank you in advance. Song Jiaren laughed along merrily. It was a fascinating feeling, when someone around you would soon become a celebrity. At that moment, a sarcastic voice cut through their joyful moment. Is becoming a celebrity that easy? Don't think that you can become a star just because you have a pretty face. Don't trip over yourself by then, that will be so humiliating. Xia Shibei and Song Jiaren looked in the direction of the voice, only to see Lu Zijing staring at them with blazing eyes, her face almost distorted by jealousy. Chapter 47 Red Flowers and Green Leaves You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Song Jiaren was not the only one who noticed Pan Yan's behavior. Xia Qinghan and others had also seen the scene play. Despite her smile, Xia Qinghan was filled with hatred as she gritted her teeth. Pan Yan had been so enthusiastic about Xia Shibei, even taking the initiative to add her contact information, when she compared this with his indifference to her, she felt as if her face had been stepped on. Among the three girls, Lu Zijing was the first to recognize Xia Shibei's identity. After the shock wore off, her eyes turned bloodthirsty. Xia Shibei, who usually looked so pathetic and weak, had been discovered by a scout who promised to make her a star. Was this a joke? So, she made a sarcastic comment, even letting out a cold snort when Xia Shibei looked over. Don't think that just because you have a cute face, you can be a star. You should wait and see if you have that blessing. It'd be awful if you failed very badly. Xia Qinghan's eyes flickered with concern, tugging on Lu Zijing's hand to make her stop saying such things. However, her effort was pretty weak as she didn't really want to stop those words from flowing out. Well, she's gorgeous. When you're pretty, you can do whatever you want. To their surprise, Song Jiaren had spoken up. 
She looked at the three of them mockingly and said with disdain, whose fault is it that some people just aren't pretty enough? Do you feel envy, jealousy, hatred? It will only make you uglier. You can't get these things with envy, no matter how hard you try. You. Song Jiaren had made Lu Zijing really angry. However, thinking of Jiaren Song's reputation at school, Lu Zijing didn't dare confront her head. On. Who knew if this girl would go crazy? Ha! Some people are so stupid, they don't know when they have become green leaves. Lu Zijing could only spit these words out with exasperation at the lack of someone's failure. Xia Shibei was already pretty. When Song Jiaren stood next to her, the contrast became even stronger. Aren't you too confident in yourself? Xia Shibei finally spoke, looking her up and down. You are both green leaves, and green leaves with full marks at that. Where did you get the courage to say those words? Lu Zijing's expression changed as soon as she heard those words. Green leaves with full marks. Was she really ugly? Xia Qinghan's smile had also stiffened. Lu Zijing had an ordinary appearance. Her only advantage over Song Jiaren was that she was very thin. But no matter how thin she was, when she stood beside Xia Qinghan, she was just a green leaf. Some girls have very good ideas. At least they know they need to find a few green leaves to make themselves seem better, Xia Shibei said while looking at Xia Qinghan, dragging Tao Yueying into the argument too. Xia Qinghan's smile disappeared. Hey classmate, did I offend you? Xia Shibei shrugged and smiled innocently, what, did I say something? Turning to look at Song Jiaren, she asked, did I say something just now? Yeah, did you say anything? I guess some dogs barked first. Song Jia knew which side to stand on. She had to stand by Xia Shibei's side, at least before finding out if Xia Shibei had deceived her. Moreover, she still liked Xia Shibei more than the fake Xia Qinghan. At least Xia Shibei looked soothing. The two of them had come out together, so she couldn't let Xia Shibei be bullied. Lu Zijing's face flushed when she heard herself being called a dog, but she did not dare to get angry at Song Jiaren, only able to turn her muzzle towards Xia Shibei. Some people only have a nice face, but their own parents don't even like them. So how good can they really be? Lu Zijing's hissed, eyes full of malice. Oh. Not liked by her parents. Tao Yueying spoke up. Her face was full of curiosity. Chapter 48 The Jinx You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio Lu Zijing's rage increased uncontrollably when she saw Xia Shibei's calm expression. How could a person whose parents didn't care for or love her be this proud? So what if she had a pretty face? Did she have the talent? Did she have strength? Could she handle all the pressure and corruption of the entertainment industry? Xia Shibei clearly wasn't angered by Lu Zijing's vicious smile. In fact, they were connected in a way. Lu Zijing's father was the older brother of Xia Shibei's father's current wife, which meant Xia Songhai was Lu Zijing's uncle. The two of them had seen each other at Xia Songhai's wedding. Back then, they were both young. They didn't make contact again until high school, but Lu Zijing had never liked Xia Shibei. In the past, Lu Zijing felt that Xia Shibei was timid and easy to bully. Her aunt had always hated Xia Shibei's existence, so Lu Zijing hated her too. And there was another unknown connection between them. Considering all of this, Lu Zijing was very upset at seeing Xia Shibei being favored by Pan Yan. Some people have been treated like a burden by their parents ever since they were young. I don't even know what to say about this kind of person. Tao Yueying agreed, echoing, a burden. What do you mean? Just unliked and unloved. Almost tossed into the garbage recycling bin as garbage. Lu Zijing crowed, showing a malevolent smile. Dot, really? Like garbage? Of course. She was treated like a jinx. Her parents divorced because of her. Whoa, a jinx. 
Tao Yueying was adding fuel to the fire, paving the way for Lu Zijing to reveal more details about Xia Shibei. Yes, otherwise her parents wouldn't have divorced. Neither of them wanted her after the divorce either. Lu Zijing and Tao Yueying continued to talk back and forth, looking at Xia Shibei as if she was garbage. Xia Qinghan's heart surged with pride as she listened to their words. Even if Xia Shibei was favored by Pan Yen, how could she compare to her? They were on completely different levels. Her parents despised her, and she was treated like a jinx. How dare she be a star? You. Song Jiaren was angered by their words. How could these people be so shameless? Could an innocent child like Xia Shibei control something like a divorce? Song Jiaren didn't know much about Xia Shibei's life story until now, but she couldn't help feeling sorry for her. Before she could speak up, however, she was stopped by Xia Shibei. Song Jiaren turned around to look back at her, shaking a little bit. Xia Shibei's gaze was calm, but it made one feel cold inside. Lu Zijing was smug, seeing that Xia Shibei was about to talk. She hadn't said anything wrong, so had nothing to worry about. Xia Shibei showed a wicked smile, slowly speaking, according to Article X of our country's law on the protection of minors, abandoning a young, ill, or incapable minor is a crime of abandonment. Those who committed such a heinous crime shall be sentenced to a fixed dot term imprisonment of no more than two years. Xia Shibei's words made Lu Zijing's eyes get bigger and bigger, just as she was beginning to feel a little flustered. What could she possibly mean? When I was eight years old, my parents gave up on raising me. If I were to sue them, they would be in jail now. Xia Shibei's smile deepened, I used to think that no matter what had happened, they were my parents, so I should forgive and forget. I didn't want to make such a big fuss. But now that you've reminded me, I should ask them for alimony. Who? Who reminded you? What are you going on about? Lu Zijing widened her eyes in fear. She didn't know about all of this. If Xia Shibei really did this, she'd be cussed to death. Chapter 49 Who's the real jinx you are listening at NovelFull.audio? As for that talk of me being a jinx, I'd better return it to you. Xia Shibei's smile remained unfaltering. She took a step forward, which made Lu Zijing recoil in fear. Xia Qinghan and Tao Yueying retreated right alongside her. Pooh! Off to the side, Song Jiaren couldn't help but burst out in laughter. When she finally came to her senses, Xia Qing Han was angry and frustrated. How could she be frightened by Xia Shibei? You are the jinx. Lu Zijing held her neck stiffly straight and cursed, her face flushed red. You are the jinx. I'm the jinx. Whom did I influence? Xia Shibei asked, her lips curled into a smile. Your parents only became rich after getting divorced. You brought bad luck to them before. Lu Zijing declared in a loud voice. However, Xia Shibei was only amused by her words. Ha ha ha. You are so much more foolish than I thought, she laughed. They got rich after the divorce because they weren't meant to be together. What does their financial state have to do with me, a poor, little child? If what you said is true, aren't you a worse jinx than I am? Your parents didn't get rich either, after all. Song Jiaren laughed upon hearing Xia Shibei's words, this is the first time I have heard such a saying. If parents don't get rich, it's because the child has brought them bad luck. In that case, the best way to get rich quick is to not have children, even strangers passing by laughed when they heard those words. They have done such careful research. Well, I have definitely learned something, a girl in her twenties told her companion. There are so many poor people in our country, so all of their children must be jinxes. Apologies, I'm also one of the jinxes, the girl beside her mocked. The taunting of the onlookers made Lu Zijing extremely embarrassed, her face turning beet red. She glared at Xia Shibei with anger and shame, fighting back the urge to bite her. 
She didn't know when Xia Shibei had become this quick dot witted and eloquent, because before, you couldn't get her to talk even if you beat her with a stick. I feel that you're more of a jinx than I am. Your younger brother. He must have turned sick because of your influence, didn't he? Her words made Lu Zhijing's heart skip a beat, her face turning very pale. Her brother was eight years younger than her, the baby of the family. After the birth of her younger brother, her parents and the elderly members of the family started to like him better, favoring him over her. A few years ago, when her parents weren't around, her young brother caught a very high fever. She didn't report the matter to her parents, hiding herself away instead. By the time her parents had noticed the situation, her brother's fever had gotten so severe that his brain suffered irreversible damage. He was slightly mentally retarded now. It was a disreputable matter. Her heart almost stopped beating when she heard Xia Shibei reveal it in public. You, you are talking nonsense, she growled in anger. If it was all nonsense, why were you so afraid just now? Xia Shibei's smile turned even more innocent, even as her words dripped with poison. How does that saying go? Fierce in appearance but faint at heart. Isn't that it? Song Jiaren added. Xia Qinghan and Tao Yueying couldn't help but look at Lu Zhijing, wondering what her next move would be. How dare you talk nonsense? I'm going to tear your mouth apart. Lu Zhijing shouted with fury, panic radiating off of her. She was so furious that she dashed toward Xia Shibei immediately. However, before she could get to Xia Shibei, she was stopped by Song Jiaren. With a swing of her arm, Song Jiaren let a hard slap fly across her face. Pow! She was clearly very strong. The imprint of her palm appeared on Lu Zhijing's cheek right away, becoming more and more prominent as she swayed due to the force of the hit. Lu Zhijing held her cheek and burst into tears. How could you hit her? Tao Yueying rebuked, panic evident in her voice. This situation had gotten out of control. Are you blind? Song Jiaren dusted off her hands and stood with hands on her hips and disgust plainly showing on her face. I'm standing right here and you're trying to bully my people. Did you think I was dead or something? Chapter 50 My hot temper you are listening at novel full dot audio. Song Jiaren's brutal, formidable look finally made them remember her reputation in school. Who in Qingyi High School hadn't heard Song Jiaren's name? The contrast between her graceful, delicate name and her big, robust build was too stark to not notice. Moreover, between her fierce, uncompromising style and her rather disputable background, her name made people tremble with fear. How dare you bully my people right in front of me? Did you really think I was dead? Song Jiaren stood in front of the, with an intimidating ferocity, her powerful aura making the three of them shudder. Xia Qinghan held Lu Zhijing up and coughed softly, this isn't that big of a deal. We are all schoolmates, so let's not let these things cause disharmony among us, dot, ha. Song Jiaren's lips twitched and she couldn't help but sneer, disgust evident on her face. Her impression of Xia Qinghan kept getting worse and worse. Previously, Song Jiaren only disliked Xia Qinghan because of her good looks, but as she took in what she was saying now, she found her very abhorrent. When they didn't want to fight her, they were all schoolmates. Yet, when Lu Zhijing was saying such awful things just now, she hadn't stepped forward and said a word. What a hypocrite. She was what people would call a white lotus, wasn't she? All right, we have something else to do, so let's just go. Xia Shibei stepped forward and tugged on Song Jiaren's hand, leading her in the opposite direction of Xia Qinghan and the other two girls. Why shall we be the ones to go? Song Jiaren argued reluctantly, these be asterisk cheese are way too disgusting to leave alone. Why must we keep quiet about the truth while they simply curse other people out? I won't tolerate them. Song Jiaren thought Xia Shibei was too easy to bully. If they had been daring enough to say such things to her face, she would have slapped them many times by now. Enough. Is it fun to hit people on the street? 
Xia Shibei asked as she walked away without turning back. Since we know just how despicable they are, there's nothing much to talk to them about. Wouldn't we just be downgrading ourselves if we do so? But. Let's go. Xia Shibei applied some delicate force and led Song Jiren away. They didn't have to rush to deal with them, there would be much more interesting drama coming up soon enough. They were too much. Tao Yueying stated indignantly. If it wasn't for Song Jiaren's ferocity, she would have dashed forth and taught Xia Shibei a lesson. Watching Xia Shibei and Song Jiaren's backs as they left, Xia Qinghan couldn't help but bite her lip, her eyes blazing with anger and hatred. Although it was their first meeting, Xia Shibei caused her to feel intimidated. Both her looks and her style alarmed her. Tao Yueying held Lu Zhijing's hand, looking exasperated as she continued, they were too much. They hit you even after scolding you. I will not forgive them. Lu Zhijing vowed, equally resentful. In fact, we are all schoolmates. It would be best if we could get along with them, Xia Qinghan told them gently. What do you mean get along? Lu Zhijing touched the imprint of the palm on her face and said through gritted teeth, they defamed me so badly. I will not rest until I have my justice against them. She was so furious, as though she wasn't the one who had called Xia Shibei a jinx in the first place. Xia Qinghan was delighted, giving up trying to persuade Lu Zhijing soon enough. All right, but don't think too much about it. Let's go buy some clothes. Fine. On the other side, Song Jiaren was displeased after being dragged away, demanding, why won't you let me teach them a lesson? Is teaching them a lesson more important than losing weight? Xia Shibei countered, continuing to walk forward while holding on to her. Both are important. With my hot temper, I could never put up with such be asterisk cheese. Song Jiaren informed her unhappily. But honestly, aren't you angry? What's there to be angry about? Xia Shibei's pace was leisurely, never faltering despite the profound words coming out of her mouth. What influence can those unimportant people have over me?